Would you really have traveled all the way to Montana just to look at a body in a box? No. Then why did you ask? Reacher season two sucked. That's right, I said it. It had to be said. Believe me, it brings me no pleasure to do this. I wanted to like Reacher season two so badly. I waited for weeks, for weeks, for the season to be out so I could binge watch this show. Since I love season one very much. You want to know how much I love this show? Here's how much I love this show. I would crawl over broken glass to suck the. And then I watched episode one. Guess life ends when you're away too. Francis' wedding, Larry's funeral. No one told me. No phone, no address. You could have sent me an emergency ATM message like today. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! From this scene on, I knew it was all downhill. I couldn't even finish the first episode. Why is season two so dragged out? Why are there so many characters? But most of all, what did they do to reach her? What did they do to her? Look at the mask of my boy. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Now on to my unsolicited thoughts on why Reacher Season 2 ate animal feed. It's a hell of a, a lot, lot of animal, of animal, animal feed. feed. Well, it was. 1. His character. Watch these two clips and tell me who's more interesting. He speaks when he wants to. And why don't you need a lawyer? Because I didn't kill anybody. At least not recently. How'd you find out? Got a call from Angela. Auntie's widow. Franz was married. He had a son too. But I flew son when you're away, big fella. If you pick this one, you just won a million pounds. So why was this reacher complete and utter ass as compared to this reacher? Well, first off, they made him chatty, emotional, and impulsive. He never talks this much. I'm just warming up. Shut it, place. He's the mysterious, silent type who keeps his emotions in check and calculates every move he makes. Making him constantly talk about small nothings takes away the weight and power his words have. Now he's just some old schmuck rambling away. Yappa, 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 yappa. Shut it, place. Also, I watched season 1 in preparation for season 2 and you can feel the stark difference in his personality right from episode 1 in season 2. He's more chatty and emotional. What's all that about? What sort of change did he go through in the 2 years, 7 months, 19 days? And you might try to make the argument for character growth, but you have to earn it. You can't have it happen off screen. If something major happened to him that changed him so much, then show it to us. Because as far as I'm concerned, he was the same stoic quiet reacher who wanted to go back into obscurity at the end of season 1. And this? This was his gun. NYPD? It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Reacher isn't some paranoid nut that would attack someone impulsively without being absolutely sure. NYPD? So what gives Amazon? Why are you the way that you are? Amazon forgot that the thing that made the first season so good was Reacher himself. You guys recycle. The show's named after him, goddammit. And they went and completely botched up his character. I didn't know that about your father. Why didn't you? Two, why are there so many people here? In season one, you had our main trio, a distraught family of three, and our three villains plus one. It was a rule of three and it was all simple and tight. Why is season two so crowded? There are too many characters to give a f*** about. You have the 110th and all his nine members, three of whom are killed off screen. You have Peacemaker's dad and his posse. You have this person, whatever his name is. This NYPD officer who literally made no difference to the plot other than being a cheap attempt to manipulate the audience with an emotional on-screen death. I don't care enough about him. I don't care. There are only so many people I can give a ah. about at one time and frankly speaking, they aren't even that interesting. The original duo is superior because they complement Reacher's persona. But this trio already knows what Reacher is thinking, even before he says it. So what is the point of Reacher being there? He might as well just waltz over and kill Nazis with Superman. Having a bloated cast, who's pretty much like Reacher, took away the limelight from Reacher. I ever tell you you're smart, Neely? I ever tell you you're smart, Neely? If everyone is as smart as Reacher, then what is even the point of having him there? Tangent, his love interest in season 2 was such a letdown. They tried to force their present day chemistry with flashbacks. They wanted us to care about this relationship without putting any work into it. It's not that far of a rule. None of it felt authentic. It just felt cheap and forced. In season 1, they took all the time 
to build this tension and bond between Roscoe and Reacher by showing us the chemistry and concern they had for each other. John's right. You're a good man. Three, the mystery. They dropped the ball with this one too. My issue isn't with the story revolving around the 110th. It was referenced multiple times in season one. So the progression to explore this part of Reacher's life is pretty natural. Naturally. But the murder mystery in season one was way more engaging than season two. They convoluted the plot for no reason. The mystery in season one was double layered. Who killed his brother and why? They kept the audience visually engaged with the who and when the why rolls around. <laughs> It's a pleasant surprise for all those who paid attention to the little hints. Cool filters to animal feed. We see none of that in season 2. Both the who and the why are addressed pretty early on in the season. The mystery here is whether three members of the 110th were involved in it. Yes, the character's integrity is the main mystery this season. And honestly, it's not even a mystery because there's no way Reja can ever be wrong. Nice to meet you, friend. I'm Joe Gordon. All of this made the viewing experience unbearably jarring and painfully long. I lost my will to live after the season was over. It felt like I was getting through a 22 episode series, whereas in season 1, I couldn't get enough and was pretty much bummed when it ended. I wanted more. A note to the producers of Reacher. I really hope you reduce the size of this cast significantly in season 3 and make the mystery a little more interesting. It doesn't even have to be personal to Reacher. It just has to be the case that he ended up at the wrong place at the wrong time and now he has to get himself out of the mess he walked himself in. I'm not asking sir, I'm telling. But don't worry, I won't kick your ass unless you make me. I can't rely on YouTube to promote a small channel like ours, so do share it with your friends to show support. I'd love to know your thoughts on Reacher Season 2. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.